hi everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is amarachi i'm a grad student in the us and on this channel i share useful tips about moving to the us as well as documenting my grad school journey so if this is something you'd be interested in please consider subscribing so in today's video i'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of living in boston so i live in boston and i kind of have a love-hate relationship with this city um there's definitely a lot more to love than to hate but uh, i'm going to start off by sharing all the cons of living here the first con that everybody talks about and everybody knows is that boston is expensive boston is so expensive rent prices are so high um even like eating out dining out um entertainment is a little bit on the higher end as well um food even groceries are also on the higher end everything is like just expensive in this place like um, just for for context, someone who lives, say, like in some in some midwestern states, could pay maybe four hundred, five hundred dollars for a one bedroom apartment. Um, here in Boston, I probably wouldn't find a one bedroom apartment for anything less than two thousand dollars. It's just so expensive. So I'm a grad student, and I literally cannot afford to live by myself because if I try to do that. I would have no money left after paying rent so yeah boston is just very expensive the next con is the weather so i think boston has quite extreme weather conditions um winter i in my opinion is definitely worse than summer so the winters are long and cold and dark and just uncomfortable you know it's windy it's snowing like it snows a lot winter in boston lasts from around november december all the way to like april or may of the next year so that's pretty long you know it can be very depressing and sad and like there's not too much to do in the winter so it's just like long months of misery i would say and yeah just the snow the sheer amount of snow here it's it's too much like the weather is quite extreme and if you're someone from like warmer climates you might find it difficult to adjust if you move like from a warm country here so there's that on the flip side summers are also pretty hot like disgustingly hot and summers are not just hot they're also humid so it feels even hotter than it is and it could be like difficult to breathe here um in summer so yeah the, the weather conditions are kind of on extreme ends and it's just it can be uncomfortable to leave um during the winter and the summer months the third con is still linked to accommodation. Um, so remember how I talked about like rent being super expensive? It's also very annoying because here in Boston, um, you'd find quite a good number of apartments or houses that are expensive, but not very well maintained. So it's like, this thing, I'm paying so much for this and it's like quite literally a cardboard box. Um, so that's, that's annoying. Um, something else is, when you try to find apartments at least in my in my experience it was very very difficult to find ones that had like a private bathroom in your room so it was more common to see like uh, maybe a four bed one bath house so it's like four bedrooms one bathroom like those are too many people to share one bathroom it just seemed a little bit more difficult to find um, places where you could have your own private bathroom and that's something that i found quite annoying the fourth con again is linked to apartments and it says the fact that apartments can be quite hard to find not necessarily because there are not so many apartments per se but because if you're on a budget um, there are just so many people competing for those more like pocket friendly apartments and pocket friendly doesn't even mean like five or six hundred dollars This is still a ridiculous amount, but they're just like lots of students here um, Who are trying to live in places that are a little bit um, on the cheaper end Even if you wanted to pay a little bit more the flip side of that is that they're also like young working professionals um, Here who can pay a little bit more as well. So it's like on whatever end you look there's really stiff competition for housing so that's something to just like keep in mind if you're thinking about moving out here to boston the fifth con is the mbta so the mbta means the massachusetts bay transportation authority and it's basically what the name implies it's the transportation service like company of massachusetts on the boston area the mbta is a con the MBTA is probably one of the things that I have the biggest love-hate relationships with in this city, especially these days. There's so much going on with the MBTA, um, derailments, 
fires, um, just like sudden closures for maintenance um, without any real um, notice or warning. It's just, it's just a lot. Like, it's like, Boston, you can do better. Like this MBTA, the T can be better. The T definitely could be better. So yeah, the MBTA is a big con for me. The sixth and final con for me are the drivers. So um, Boston drivers have a reputation of being called mass holes. So they're like Massachusetts A holes because they drive like they're crazy. They drive like they're drunk. It's like, are you trying to kill me? Um, so yeah, like the, the drivers in Boston are, mm, I don't know what's wrong with them. Um, but yeah, the drivers are a big problem in the city. Now let's talk about all the lovely, lovely things that I absolutely adore about Boston. The first one is Boston is a historic and beautiful city. Um, downtown Boston, certain parts of it remind me of Europe. They have a very, um, it has a very European feel to it. It's very lovely. There are cobblestones. You can walk around, explore the city. It's very, very beautiful. Talking about beauty, Boston also has like four distinct seasons. So you can fully experience like spring, summer, fall and winter and the fall is lovely here the fall around new england is generally very beautiful um yeah so like here as well it's very beautiful the leaves are like yellow and brown and like it's it's just it's really beautiful the next pro is there's a lot to do in boston both for free and paid events as well especially in summer so you could do all kinds of things like um such as chilling out in the boston common which is like um a public park um in boston public uh, boston public um garden you could go like chill out at the boston public library you could go watch a celtics game or a red sox game um you could go like walk around you could go down to quincy market or to federal hall um you know you could go downtown to chinatown it's just like there's a lot to do so i really love it here the third pro for boston is that it's quite a multicultural or diverse city to some extent. It's not New York City, it's not as multicultural or as diverse as New York City, but it's pretty good, pretty decent. So when you live in Boston, you can experience um, a good number of other cultures in terms of food or like experiences. Like I mentioned before, you could like go downtown, go down to Chinatown, have different kinds of foods. So yeah, that's something I, I, I like as well. The fourth pro is that Boston has quite a young, vibrant lively population so like i mentioned before there are lots of students here and lots of young um professionals here um students make up a huge population of the city because there are so many colleges and universities in boston in the boston area so they're just like lots of young people here so if you love the energy you know that that there's something that young people or like students bring to a city it makes it feel very like alive and just you know bubbling um so yeah we definitely have that here the sixth con is boston has like super super top-notch education because some of the best universities in the country are in this place like in boston and the boston area i mean you have mit harvard tufts university northeastern university bu boston university to mention just a few there's so many like highly ranked very like amazing amazing universities or colleges here so like the education that you can get from this area is just mind-blowing the sixth pro would be that there are lots of job opportunities or like industries in the boston area so um, boston has lots of op opportunities in healthcare biotech um, tech finance even education as well so if you live here and you like go to school here you graduate i think there's very there are very high chances that you would get a job um in this area um if you want to remain here you know you have that option um it's also a place that definitely attracts talents even from other states so lots of people go to school like live somewhere else um to get their education and then they move to boston for work because there are just so many opportunities across different industries in this place the seventh pro would be that boston has like quite easy access to other parts of the country and also to international tra travel um so we have the boston logan airport which is like a big 
airport there are lots of flights i really like that because like if you're an international student um traveling back home most likely would be easier if you live somewhere in boston or like somewhere like um somewhere on the east coast like boston or even new york city than if you live like somewhere in the midwest so if you just lived out in i don't know indiana or kentucky or ohio it's like it might be more difficult for you to go back home um but when you live out here on the east coast and boston specifically there's like very easy access to places that you may want to go or places that you would like to go and that's something that i really really love because i love to travel and living in boston makes it easier um apart from that boston is very close to new york city so um even if you don't want to travel from out of boston or if you find that maybe you find a cheaper ticket from new york you can easily go to new york it's very close and you know you could be in new york like four hours on the train or five hours um driving or by bus and for most people maybe like if you're nigerian or if you're like from other countries and you're like four hours on the train that's close in the u.s yes it's close a five hour drive is not that far for the u.s so that's close enough even if you don't want to travel the fact that boston is close enough to new york city means that you could just go to new york city for the weekend to chill experience the city experience the lifestyle there and you just have that easy access to new york city and my final pro for living in boston is drum roll the MBTA, I know, I know, I know I said that was a con as well, but remember I said I have a love-hate relationship with the MBTA. So um, I'm putting the MBTA as a pro here because you can get around without having a car in Boston, which is something that I like and I appreciate. Um, I know that not a lot of states or cities in the US have decent public transportation or even have public transportation period. But the Boston area, at least we have that option. It might not be the most extensive, it might not be the most effective, the most efficient, but we have that option like i've lived here so far um i don't have a car yet and i'm fine ish like i've been able to survive um i just like take the bus if i need to go somewhere or i take the subway um so yeah the mbta i'm glad that we at least have that option so people who are moving here for the first time are not forced to buy a car because they don't have any other means of transportation and that's something that i definitely appreciate and that's it for today's video guys um thank you so much for watching if you liked it please 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 give me a like um subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed share this video with anyone you think might find it interesting and let me know in the comments below if you live in boston if you do let me know what you find to be the pros and cons of living here um if you visited boston let me know what you think about it how you feel about the city thanks again for watching and i will see you in the next video